Hello, hello! Perfidious Pete here, back from my stint as the budget Randall Reigns and ready to get back to my regular job as a carnival ride repairman in XCOM 2. And eh, maybe a little murky on the specifics regarding Gone in 60 Seconds. That movie's like 15 years old and it's been a while since I've seen it, but I'm pretty sure Randall Memphis Reigns was in fact working as a carnival ride repairman before his idiot brother called him out of retirement to hang out with Robert Duvall and romance Angelina Jolie. I think they stole some cars too. Again, murky on the specifics. Mostly the only thing I remember about Gone in 60 Seconds, other than that the main character was in fact the world's greatest car thief as well as a carnival ride repairman, is that digging through dog shit was a major plot point and at one point a man made Barbie doll dance on the counter of a uh, impound lot. Those are the two things I remember. Specifically to the 1977 Commodore's hit Brick House, he made her dance to, which was weird. But, you know, eh, it's fine. I'm still feeling a little better about being me after jacking an alien ride last episode and making off with a sweet spaceship. Same way that Randall felt immediately better about, uh, you know, being Randall after stealing a car. He immediately felt better about being him. Even though it seems like, you know, that should probably go the other way, Randall. You shouldn't feel better about yourself after stealing a car. Probably you should feel maybe a little worse. I stole something from the alien overlords oppressing our planet. I'm a freedom fighter. You're a car thief, Randall, and sort of a scumbag. I mean, you took that Cadillac Escalade, and now somewhere there's a single mom who's going to be late picking up the kids from school because you decided you need to take a little joy ride in her car. And that means little Timmy isn't going to get his medicine on time, and you just inadvertently put a kid in the hospital, Randall. You monster. Randall Raids was not a good man. Even though he did get to drive around in a sweet, you know, Shelby GTO and uh, ruin the shit out of it. And then they gave him an old busted version, which Angelina Jolie, for some reason, found desperately hot. That movie makes very little sense. And surprisingly, a lot more of it is coming back to me than it was when I made the Randall Raids joke to begin with. Let's get up to scanning here. Life signs, intel, I uh, kind of need. Let's take a knot now and take a look at the map very quickly. I also want this scientist. I think we go scientist back to life signs. Avenger. I'm a little worried about the Avatar project, but at this point with mag weapons, if we have to hit the black site, I think we might be okay. There are a couple more projects I would very much like to complete before we have to hit that. Faceless Autopsy, definitely one of those projects. I am super stoked about this. We're going to be building Mimic Beacons immediately. Is there another world out there? Yeah, why does it have dicks on its face? I mean, I think this is the most important really question. I mean, it's definitely the question that's burning in my mind, Dr. Tigan. Why why dicks on its why its face? Also, why two dicks? Why not just one dick on its face? I mean, if you want to be a dickhead, that's fine, but it has two dicks. It's a dick's head, and that's just not how the language works. All right, so Operation Protein is done. We're going to be building as many mimic beacons as we can as quick as we can. Advent Stun Lancer, your autopsy is now instant. All right, well, we'll go ahead and take that out the of there. Advent Stun Lancer was apparently, it's based on how many you kill, I guess. Because last time we got, peacekeeping unit within the we got sectoids instantly pretty quickly. Of well, we haven't, you know, we haven't fought that many Recent sectoids. We haven't encountered as many. It must be based on the number of kills. Taken by these units. Look at the Scotch guarding on Dr. Tigan's coat, though. I mean, the camera is covered in gore like a... I mean, it's like the bloodbath scene from Kill Bill, where the crazy 88s got hacked into haggis. High-pressure jets of viscous fluids, but Dr. Tigan's lab coat? Fucking spotless, man. Spotless. Demonstrate a degree of genetic frugality, because those are two words that go together. I'm genetically frugal. Arc Blade may be worth researching, but Gauss weapons... We desperately need Gauss weapons. We really do. But the problem is... Muton Corpse is also on the table, and this upgrades all of our grenades, which, honestly, as much damage as we're going to get out of the increased Gauss weapon damage, I sincerely think we'll get more out of grenades. I'm grenade happy. I throw grenades at everything. If there's a problem, you whip a grenade at it. That's just the way I, my mind works. There's no problem that sufficient application of grenades cannot solve. It's actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, they got a really enhanced, like, articulated spine course. thing going on I back there. It looks like that device they clamped onto Worf's back when he got his back broken in that episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, and he had the thing where it, like, let him walk again until he was miraculously healed by his second spine because apparently Klingons have a spare. So, that's some solid genetic 
development. I mean, the Klingons are not genetically frugal, are they, Dr. Tigan? No, they've got an extra spine and like four hearts and shit. Fossil fuels, power is difficult to come by outside the cities. Even among the staunchest of anti-alien dissidents. Are you like, are you talking about Gone in 60 Seconds too, Tiny? Fossil fuel powered vehicles? Is, I mean, well, I mean, we could probably call Randall Reigns up and see if he'll steal you one. I mean, he's an inveterate scumbag. We do have the construction bonus, and I would love to be down here taking advantage of it, but I really feel like an extra scientist is significantly more useful. And we need intel. Research time decreased by an in further 17%. That's pretty good. We actually have a lot of scientists now. We're going to hit these life signs. I need intel for making contact with additional regions. And you're saying, Pete, you can't make contact with additional regions until that resistance HQ is done. That's true, but that bonus is never going to expire. Interception enemy. Um, begin evasive maneuvers. For the Arctic territories. Let's get the shit out of here, and then as soon as we arrive here... So what, do we just go to a place and sit there? Interception avoided. Okay, very good. Alright, good. We avoided interception. I'm, I'm stoked about that. Can we go back to scanning for these life signs now? So basically, the aliens stole a couple hours of scan from us. That's, by and large, what has happened. Where is that UFO? I don't see it. Incoming message for you, Commander. Uh, is this, uh, this may be an end-of-month communication. Is this my status report, Optimus? That's exactly what it is. is a daunting task. Avatar progress, too. They completed one facility and, and one dark event. It's problematic. New staff available. There's a Sergeant Calvin White available. I'm very tempted. Dr. Andrea Lewis, I would hope, would be maybe an engineer as opposed to... Rural checkpoints. Don't give a shit. Alien Cipher. Again? Actually, you know what? Alien Cipher could be catastrophic for us. All intel costs by 100%. If they double intel costs for us, that would be... It'd be god-awful is what it would be. We've got to fight. With the hidden event, there's almost nothing that we need to thwart more than we need to thwart that. So let's go grab our supply drop. Yes, I'm aware Avenger, we could come back to this. Jeez, board. don't uh, settle down, guys. Everybody's always like, oh, you can't multitask, Pete. Don't try and multitask. Why is everybody always picking on the commander? I'm the guy in charge here. You trust me for a reason, because I get shit done. Avatar project. Yep, okay. I mean, we knew that was going to happen. Let's hope it's only one pip. We want to set back the aliens work on the avatar. Okay, it's only one pip, but this is the reason why we can't have our intel costs increased by 100%. Otherwise, there is literally no way we get enough intel to make it over to this facility. We do still have the emergency black site site as we can use as our safety valve to avert the doom timer, but the aliens are really making a lot of progress really quickly here. High priority mission information. Rescue a VIP from Advent Cell. We will get 98 intel. Good. And Dr. Aaron Wilson, engineer. Operation Unceasing Cobra. I mean, that just sounds vaguely dirty. Oh, baby, I got an unceasing cobra for you. Why don't you try and strangle my snake, baby? You want to strangle my snake? Be like, no, I, I don't want to strangle your snake. Not at all. Not even a little. Do we take the cursed Abraham Lincoln on this mission? Do I want to go with two? I mean, if we had Muton grenades, which I was trying to hope we might get finished before our next mission, yes, I would absolutely be glad to take Abraham Lincoln. As it stands, I think we might be better suited with a Ranger. Do we have a Ranger? We, we've got crazy ass Mo Gibson, and that's literally it, huh? Pretty much. Steve Irwin's down for another three days. Mitch the Viking Hedberg. Oh, that's so good. Also wounded for five days. We may not even change that. Mitch Viking Hedberg. That, I mean, that's just classic. All right, fine, stovepipe. I'm going to, against my better judgment, I'm going to take you, even though your guns are doing relatively poor damage at this point. As the number, based on the number of armored troops we fought lately, we may need your shred ability. Oh, you know what we need to do? We gotta build some items here. There is no way I'm going into this shit without a Mimic Beacon. I can't- I don't have two Faceless Corpses, so I can't go with two Mimic Beacons, but you can damn skippy bet I'm gonna have at least one of those bad boys. The question is, who's gonna carry it? And I think the answer to that question is definitely Lindsay Lohan. Mimic Beacon for you. I think we'll go with the Flashbang here for Master Chef Busey. 
I still like the Venom rounds on the Baby Maker up here, because that really helps his pistol do pretty good damage. Yes, I'm a fan of the Venom rounds as well, Pete. I very much enjoyed it. All right, well, that's good. How's the space helmet treating you there, Yuri? Well, you know, still is roomy, luxurious, and uh, well air-conditioned. Everything is good inside space helmet. I'm not excited to be going on mission with Abraham Lincoln because, man, he is walking catastrophe, Pete. Man is doom magnet like Walter White in Breaking Bad. Uh, he, he is bad for everyone around him, Pete. Bad for everyone around him. Unfortunate things happen to those who are a part of great events and unfortunate circumstances. It is a trademark of history that great men shall be forced to suffer. Yeah, don't know what you're on about, Lincoln. Just a lot of big words in somewhat dramatic voice. Yeti will stay inside Space Helmet and stay far, far the fuck away from you, sir. So we have to rescue the VIP from Advent Custody. All right. Well, that's it's not great. This is going to be a difficult mission. It's going to a lot of depend on what our timer is like. I really wish we had a second Ranger here. Double Grenadiers without Goss weaponry and without the Mutine Grenades. Our Grenadiers are just having a difficult time cutting the mustard. I would have loved to have swapped either Helen Keller or the Stovepipe out. Deadeye. You know, I think I probably would have kept the Deadeye just because she's got the extra aim. And all things considered, she's probably the better Grenadier. I would have definitely ditched the Stovepipe in favor of like a Taylor Swift. I'd have rather had my Crimson Lipped Death Goddess, but... Uh, well, she had an unfortunate encounter with a grenade last episode that left her not necessarily in perfect fighting condition. So how much map do we have to cover? Uh, quite a bit. So we got to get in this building. we got to get the guy who's in a prison cell. And then once we get the guy, we got to get him to the extraction zone. This is a, quite a chunk of map to cover. On the plus side, we do have some elevation advantage, which is going to give us a bonus when it comes to smiting our foes. So that's good. And we do start out concealed as well. So all things considered, uh, this could be a worse start. We have not seen any enemies. Detection tiles over there. Possible hacking chance. Let's have Lindsay Lohan go check it out. Low, if you would, Miss Lohan. Let's, uh, let's go see what's over there. Lindsay Low does have our mimic beacon. Oh, I'm, I'm, I, I feel so much more relieved with having the mimic beacon. A lot of the wounds that we've taken in the last couple missions... Even a single mimic beacon would have, we would have just, I mean, it's, it would have been the difference between three people wounded and coming away completely unscathed. Man, the pattern on that gremlin is just hideous. An alien facility lead or central command. Gain control of all robotic enemies for one turn. A failed hack will result in a group of enemy reinforcements being called down on your position. That's really intriguing. I like the idea of hacking robots that have not yet been revealed and using them to shoot enemy pods. That'd be real good. Do we need to do that right now? I think the answer is no. It may be premature on that. Let's just uh, continue working our way around the map here. Hostiles making the rounds. Okay, so what have we got? A Viper, a Stun Lancer. All right, not really that big of a problem. We can deal with those guys if the need arises. Also, our cover is not blown, which is good. So let's put the baby maker in a good shooter's box. Get ready to make the babies, Piet. Yuri is going to bring home the bacon. I think we bring old Babraham Lincoln up here and put him next to a truck. That way, if things go awry and the truck goes exploding, at least we'll have the Abraham Lincoln fucking problem solved. Jake Busey. We're going to have you dash like hell, get as close as possible. You're my boy, Jake. You my boy. I need some chutney, man. It's been a day or two since I've had my mango blast. I need my mango blast, Jake. Those guys are not moving. That's honestly a little problematic, the fact that they are not moving, because it seriously inhibits... Uh, Where is your lightning hands, Yuri? Oh, there are no targets within range of your lightning hands. That's why it's grayed out, because this is all squad sight. No chance to critical, but we could, with the Venom rounds, possibly straight up kill the Stun Lancer. We're unlikely to kill the Viper, even though oh, we have a really good chance to hit that Viper, though. All right, let's see about setting up a little uh, Overwatch ambush here. 
Helen Keller is definitely the Overwatch candidate of choice for this one. Moving to designated position. She will have the best chance to score an Overwatch hit. Actually, there's a pretty good chance of just straight up scoring a hit on the Viper by herself. She's definitely not going to kill it. You know what? With her somewhat minimal damage, I think we put Keller on Overwatch. Lindsay Lohan is the wielder of the Mimic Beacon and our mop-up unit, so we don't want Lindsay on Overwatch. Lincoln, can you do anything useful? Not really. I, I guess we'll use Lincoln and maybe a mop-up grenade capacity. Let's see if Yuri can't just straight up jack the Stun Lancer. Six damage. That's unfortunate. That means Helen Keller is... He is poisoned, so, I mean, he's out. Oh, nope, never mind. We're not going to get two damage out of that. Well, we can definitely kill him, even if it's just have Lindsay Lohan hit him for one damage. I really hope Keller would shoot at the Viper, and she did. Good targeting priority, Helen Keller. Solid damage as well. That's some good work from the Deadeye. That's why we love her so very much. We might be able to get out of this without burning our cover, then. So if we have Lincoln... Come up here, drops a grenade on this corner, destroys cover. Lindsay Lohan shoots at that guy. Even on a miss, she still gets the one damage. Or does she? She does, because he does not have armor. For a second there, I was worried he might still have some armor, and that would cost us the damage, but that's not the case. So we have Lincoln. Yeah, you know what? Just drop this. Destroy the cover. Four damage I would appreciate as well, Lincoln. If you could give me the four friggin' damage, that'd be lovely. Yeah, that's about what I expected. So now we've got to come up with another point of damage from somewhere. I am not supremely happy about that. Lohan. 61%. Lohan can't even see the Viper. All right. As much as I would love to keep Jake Busey in cover, it does not seem like that is going to be in the cards for us. So give me the kill here, Lohan. Lindsay straight up got the job done. She's not even dicking around waiting on these half majors. She just straight up shot that dude in the face. And then the Master Chef is going to have to come up here and whip me up some delicious chutney. All right, Master Chef. Let's, uh, let's see your culinary skills. Show me the kitchen. Oh, we've been spotted. Oh, no. And now you've been shot in the face by a shotgun. Yep, that's exactly the way that went down. Huge damage from the buse there. Wow, the buse is loose. We got a full dose of the chutney. Well, our concealment is burned. What was the negative drawback to that hack? Let's double check this. I don't honestly remember. Yes, I have the memory of a goldfish. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I checked on it literally 10 seconds ago. I think it was a squad of reinforcements getting called down on our position. That's not necessarily terrible for us. It is, in fact, a squad of reinforcements. Don't don't even think about actually clicking begin hack there. Okay, good. Just want to make sure it was not a misclick. It's too early in the mission for misclick bullshittery. You know, if we can get in positions that are closer to this jail cell without cracking any additional pods, I may go ahead and pull that hack. Let's take the Buse forward here. Jake Busey spawned nothing. So it says on our position. I really wish it was a little more specific. Let's set up some crossfire here. I'm going to go ahead and try this hack just because I'm curious what hacking these robots, if we can get it to work. I'm really curious what kind of benefits that'll get us. If we get one shot at every enemy on the map, first off, it's going to let us know where they are, and just the intel will be beneficial. Yuri, you're going to be a little far back, buddy, but I want you up here on the long watch overwatch some. shot. And then Lindsay Lowe... I think I'm just going to have you hack from here and go on Overwatch. Yeah, this... All right, I'm trying it. I'm going to go for the long shot here. I'm really trusting you on this, Lohan. One pot of reinforcements is likely not going to be the end of the world. So even if worst case scenario happens and we fail this, which I think we're pretty likely to. But even if we do... Come on, Lindsay Lowe, you didn't even fucking get close. All right, here come our reinforcements then. Ah, uh, well, that was a Canyons-esque performance right there, Lindsay Lohan. It was supposed to be the thing that saved your career, and it turns out, death knell instead. You're definitely getting subbed out for uh, Steve Loco Irwin, and I'm not ashamed to admit it.
All right, so it's straight up a uh, Fury Fusillade of Overwatch here. Jake Busey is a little out of position for my taste. Let's hope this isn't like seven robots that jump out of here, because if it is, we're dicked. If it's just a regular squad of reinforcements, yeah, this is surmountable. These guys are actually probably a couple of them will be dead. Stun Lancer, Advent Officer, regular Advent Trooper. None of these guys are particularly problematic. Especially considering their first move is going to be run my, get myself flanked, and shot a whole bunch right in the face. There's five damage from the Lincolnator. Lindsay low with a miss, but still contributing one overall damage. What else have we got here? Helen Keller shooting Abraham Lincoln right in his butthole, and the Baby Maker with a surprising whiff. Jake Busey also whiffing. So everybody shot at the same guy, and everybody fucking missed. Great work, y'all. Great work. I'm I'm super proud of everyone. Nice job. That's uh, it's fantastic. Brilliant effort. Good work, guys. Good work. I think one person actually hit their target. What's your uh, what's your lightning hand shot like here, Yuri? All right, so we're gonna have lightning hands. Let's see if Yuri can solo this man. That's that's actually a really good shot. So good, in fact, I think I'm gonna have Yuri displace and just come finish this guy off with his pistol. Moving to designation. You move him here, he's gonna come up. He'll have a uh, probably a better pistol shot, and he's gonna get four damage out of this. Yeah, he actually has this guy flanked, so 88%. Give me the pistol, Yuri. The mag pistol doing work. Two shots, Yuri. He's a mad Enemy killing machine. Destroyed. Yes, PTM died in the wool um, killer. I, uh, you know, 100% grade A. Methodical, methodical. Even though I'm very sure that methodical is not actually a word. They make that up for that movie, Pete? You know, I think maybe yes, they did, Yuri. So Lindsay Lohan can't hit the high percentage overwatch shot, but when we need the one damage, she's such an overachiever. Every time I need one damage out of Lindsay Lohan, she's like, oh, here you go, I'll hit him for 40. Be like, you know, earlier, you could have hit him for three and you wouldn't even have needed to take the shot. Oh, you're so inconsistent, Lohan. Abraham Lincoln shot that guy straight in a dick. All right, I guess Lincoln's looking for a little payback. He's been taking a lot of wounds lately, and he is not happy about it at all. He's like, fuck this, I'm shooting dick shots from now on. It's 100% dick 100% of the time. I'm just shooting dudes in the dick until the dick is gone. I'm very strongly considering just going in the back of this cell. Alternatively, we could skirt up the side of this building. I don't want to advance any further. So if we skirt up the side, there's no door here. We'd either have to blow a hole in the wall or come in the back. And if we're going to, you know what, if we're going to blow a hole in the wall, let's just blow a hole in the back of the cell. Can we do that? It looks really thick, like that's maybe reinforced or something. I might blow a hole in this wall, or, you know what, let's just, let's get everybody together. All right, I'll we got to group up. We also need to reload. We got a couple troopers here a little lower on ammo than I would like. Let's get Helen Keller back in it. Keller, probably the best shot on the team. She's got the superior oh, yeah. perception. Master Chef Busey can have you reload as well. Rock and roll. Menace one five. Be advised, hostile interceptors are inbound on your current. Yeah, position. it's it's fine, Bradford. I'm aware that we're on a time frame. I've still got eight turns and not that far left to go. So unless the enemy opposition is considerably more overwhelming than I have any reason to suspect, I think we're gonna be okay. All right, Over. Abraham Lincoln, let's get you up here and see what you got, baby. If you were a president, you'd be Abraham Lincoln. Oh, okay, there's a whole squad of assholes on the roof. That's definitely suboptimal, but you know what? Rooftop enemies are among my favorite enemies because you can drop them into holes. Like this guy we can kill with a single grenade pretty much whenever we want to. Uh, it's unfortunate that Yuri is on the ground. 59% shot at the Stun Lancer is not great. It's also Yuri's last bullet. Master Chef. You gonna make some mango chutney out of that sectoid? Almost, almost guaranteed. Yes, actually. I'm pretty sure either Abraham Lincoln or Helen Keller can drop that stun lancer through the floor with a grenade. Like this guy, Lincoln just ruins, right? I mean, this is gonna destroy the tile that he's in. Yeah, 
this is worth it. So this guy is dead, even if Lincoln doesn't get four damage off the grenade, which he might, it's not out of the question. But even if he doesn't, that guy is still dead. And there you go. Two damage, and he's going to make a really loud thud when he hits the floor. There you go. That's uh, that's going to leave a mark. Sorry, champ. And we're going to go pretty much exactly the same thing here with Helen Dead Eye Keller. We're just going to drop this guy through the floor. I'm not taking chances on anything that has uh, even an opportunity to... Well, let's see what Helen Keller's hit percentage is like. It's actually pretty good, but again, no chances will be taken. I'm sorry. I, you know, my gambling junket out in Vegas left me broke, and Big Lou has shattered my knees. The only drawback to this particular strategy is we don't have any grenades now with which to blow holes in walls. So that's bad. But if I have to use grenades for blowing holes and shit, I would rather use it for blowing holes in these fuckers. Uh, Yuri, with your baby maker, can you, uh, probably can't contribute really anything. Master Chef Busey can absolutely kill this guy pretty much at will. He could also kill that sectoid. If we could get anybody else to have even a reasonable shot at that stun lancer and get a hit, we'd be sitting pretty. 77, okay, now this is where Lohan fucks it, right? Oh, no, for once she actually stood and delivered. I... Target neutralized. Take back everything I've ever said about you, Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, I know you're out of ammo. It's fine. You're out of ammo, but you're going to chutney supplies are about to go through the roof because here comes Jake Busey, and here comes a face load of bullets. Good day. So our sectoid friend has been thoroughly eliminated. This is it, right? Uh, who said that? Who's, who's talking? Somebody said this is it, right? Roger that. Who was that? Was not me. Don't know what you're talking about. Also, did you see Jake Busey's spinning face on thing? He's remarkable. He's a wanted man. Everybody wants a piece of Jake Busey, Yuri. Even you. Oh, well, yes, you're not wrong, Pete. He is, uh, he is a very handsome man. I have difficulty saying no to uh, such, uh, such a stalwart specimen. He's difficult. We have seven turns. How many turns do I think it's going to take me to get the VIP, pick him up, and haul him this distance? I would guess... At least three. I'm very nervous about what might be in that room. Stove pipe. How's everybody's ammo supply look? Lindsay Lohan is out. Can we afford to dither for one turn? I think we have to. I don't necessarily Maybe like it, but I think we have to. There is an added advantage to that plan, though. Bring Helen Keller to here, Location get her ready to go through the door. We bring Yuri up here. I think we will have Yuri reload, even though with the sniper rifle. That's one great thing about the pistol, too. It never runs out of ammo. It, that's that's a really... It, I mean, it seems like such a small thing, but it really is a pretty Whatever tangibly big benefit. Instead of having Jake Busey reload, I'm going to pick up a couple of Lyrium cores instead, and we're going to bring Busey up here this? and set him to be ready to go no in this problem, other boss. door. I'm expecting there to be a pod in this room where the VIP is. So what I'd like to do is storm through from a couple different directions and have Busey ready to run around the flank if the need arises. But we're getting we're getting short. We're short on time. Who wants to who wants to Alright, Keller, you wanna go in first? How is this not cover? It says that is not cover? Well, if it says it's not cover, I'm not gonna stand. It's, it's gotta be cover. There's no way this is not cover. What's over there? I mean, you should know, Helen Keller. You've got the superior perception. We can see absolutely nothing in this room, huh? It's just bitch-ass black? All right, so I guess we wandered into a Vin Diesel movie from, like, 1999. Lincoln, why don't you reload? I'm not going to do anything that might spawn a pod. I totally 100% expect there to be enemies in that room. So we're going to bring the rest of the team up here, and I'm just going to pop them in a blob. Meanwhile, Jake Busey's going to sit back here and wait for the ambush. I'm going to have him reload and go on Overwatch. I'm expecting the Jake Busey ambush. Lindsay all day, Lohan, I want you right up here in the other half of this quadrant. Somebody really needs to take that kick me sign off Lindsay Lohan's back. You guys, that's just fucking mean. All right, see, that's exactly what I was expecting. There are, in fact, assholes and an entire room full of them in this room. I knew it was coming. You're not going to troll me like that, XCOM. I'm on to your games. I'm on to your shit. 
Why can't we see anything? This entire room is completely dark. Moving to Overwatch. Is this some new mechanic with which I am unfamiliar? Or maybe those guys are just outside. It could be they're just like right outside the door or upstairs or on the roof. If that's the case... Jake Busey, open this door. Any bad guys? Busey sees nothing. To the corner? Seems doable. Still nothing? The corner's still nothing. To the side, to the side, to the front, to the front, to the butt, to the butt. All right, well, we're going to have Jake Busey and, and Lindsay. I'm just going to go ahead and have you hack this door here. System infiltration in progress. Hopefully we don't have to carry this fucking guy, do we? He's not going to load me down ATN Lafarge style. And by the way, if you got the ATN Lafarge reference, kudos for you because that one was fucking obscure. Research time on current tech reduced by 50%. How come every time this comes up, I haven't just started one that's like a billion days? Income from the current region. I mean, we could probably get that. This, this is actually better. I don't care about 25 extra supplies. Oh, this one you fucking straight up roll 100 on, Lindsay? I mean, all right. Great. Fantastic. That saved us like two days, I think. So, hooray. I'm, uh, you know, I sound way saltier than I actually am. I'm actually not that upset by the fact that Lindsay Lohan succeeded at a hack. I sound really pissed off, but that, yeah, that's just my, sort of my default position. I always sound kind of pissed off. On it. Even when I'm not. This it, this whole place is pitch black. I'm telling you, this is a David Toohey film. Yeah, so those guys are just straight up walking into the room then. Well, all right. I mean, I don't necessarily object to that. I'll take some free Overwatch shots with the Deadeye. You guys want to come on into my little dungeon of terror here? Come on in. Yeah, walk right through that closed door. Phase through matter like it's not even there. It's it's remarkably impressive ability, actually. So this guy's about to get fucking ruined because I'm just going to have Jake Busey go obliterate him. Uh, What else have we got? These guys have armor, which is bad. But we do have that madman, Yuri Novak. If we bring Yuri here, he has to forego cover. But there's a non-zero chance Yuri goes full gunslinger. I think this is worth the risk. Rolling. Oh, Pete, you are taking big risk with Yuri life. Could be additional pod back there. But uh, you know what? He's going to pay out because Yuri is going Old West style on this one. Oh, who's Billy the Kid now, motherfucker? Haha, <laughs> he's not you. That is Keith. All right, you want to give me a uh, nice little another pistol shot here, Yuri? Do the, do the deed, dude. Yes, Yeri go old school on this. He watching many cowboy movies. He's basically Billy the Kid. I am Yeri the Kid. Hashtag Yeri the Kid. Well, Helen Keller can't miss this guy, so why don't you put a gun in his mouth? All right, Helen Keller absolutely destroyed him. Big deal. She, look, she's so nonchalant. She's like, yeah, whatever. He's dead. I fucking destroyed him. I just I totally annihilated his shit. How come we can't make this guy do shit? Do I have to carry this fucker? I gotta carry him, don't I? No, I don't have to carry him. So even though we're outside his cell and we hacked it, Odo, but we're like, dude, come on, we get the fuck out of here, man. We gotta go. This uh, this place is not good. We're right in the middle of some real hairy shit. He's like, oh, no, I'm, I'm gonna stay right here. I think I'm, I'm safe here. All right, I'm fully expecting a giant cadre of robots to drop in like a blightful rain from the heavens. And try to ravage my butthole. So, since I would prefer my butthole remain unravaged, let's take the stovepipe out here. We're going to try and find the best available cover we can get. We're going to try and set up a little overwatch trap. I'm fairly concerned about Yuri. But we don't have that far to take these guys in order to fully escape the mission. In fact, the VIP can just straight up run for it. I mean, he can just dead sprint it, and we at least got the VIP. So, cell is open. Oh, sorry, ma'am. You're 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 a girl. I'm, I apologize. Yeah, it's fine. Reinforcements are dropping. Not even dropping this turn, actually. Menace one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Menace one five. So let's just continue moving towards the exit zone approach. and set up the best possible ambush we can on that location. Keller, I think oh, we whip working. you around the corner here. You're gonna be on Overwatch. Affirmative, covering now. We do want everybody moving towards the exit as much as possible, so. Let's get Lindsay Lohan over here. We're going to drop Lindsay into Overwatch. 
And at this point, I really feel like I'm just sort of farming kills. I'd say I don't feel good about it, but actually, I feel pretty fucking good about it. This has been an excellent mission for us. We, I mean, this one's come off largely without a hitch. I feel, I feel pretty good. I may be speaking too soon, of course. Maybe I should just shut my trenchant fucking mouth. I never know when to keep my mouth closed. That, that is a problem I have, admittedly. Why don't you go ahead and evac? I'd really rather not have them come down and for whatever bizarre reason get a suddenly shoot and then have one of them just erase your face with a fusillade of bullets. I would very much prefer to have Jake Busey in some manner of cover when these guys down, but I'd also really like to have him fucking putting shotguns in mouths, too. Let's go for the compromise. Not on Overwatch, but close enough to the enemy that he can definitely put a shotgun in a mouth next turn. If these guys are going to feed me some free kills, I'll take them. That'd be a really long-range Overwatch shot for Lincoln, but... Let's go for the compromise here. We'll put him in worse cover, but get Overwatch and closer to the extraction zone. And if the worst case happens and something comes out of this that I am totally unprepared to deal with, we'll just run like hell. This is definitely not something I'm totally unprepared to deal with. These guys are going to die. Just, I mean, this is bad. I feel bad. It's like the, the your drop ship just opened up and let them out right in front of that mean grinder from Fargo. Be like, nope, you guys hop out. And you're like, you, you know we're hovering over a wood chipper, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a wood chipper. I've seen that movie. He's like, just get the fuck out. The light is green or red or whatever color doesn't mean standby. Get the fuck out of here. Did you see the grit and determination on Helen Keller's face there? So, yeah, these guys have dropped themselves right into the middle of fuck central and they done got fucked. All right. Helen Keller, can you make it to the exit? But we've still got some time. What's over there? Helen Keller could also kill both of these men. Guaranteed, no chance for miss, no chance for fuck up, no must, no fuss. They both die. This is for you. So Keller will not be extracting this turn because she's the greatest hero that XCOM has ever known. She's going to be the last woman out. Those guys are both dead. Everybody else, let's just uh, let's get the hell out of here. I'm comfortable with Helen Keller taking EXP for those kills. There's nobody I would rather have it. Heading out. All right, Yuri, since you can't make this on a blue move, I'm going to take you here, and we will get you the hell out of Dodge. Busey, I don't see any advantage to having you hang around. Let's get you the hell out of here. And Stovepipe, you can get to the exit zone and still have the capability of overwatching, so I think I'll let you hang around. Lohan, you can overwatch. Do so. Uh, just in case, I'm just covering all my bases here. Baby Maker, you cannot overwatch. So take your baby gravy and get it to safety. Well, yes, Pete. I will take baby gravy all the way up to spaceship. His fine scar engine is waiting. The gravy is uh, is set. I'm gone. Jake Busey, he is also the bringer of gravy, but just not the kind that makes babies. This is more of brown gravy. It's fantastic on poutine, Pete. I think we're good. Let's just go ahead and end our turn. And you're dead. And you're dead. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so we didn't get any additional loot, which is fine because we wouldn't have had time to pick Menace it up anyway. You're out of time. Get to the it's settled now. down, would you please? Come on. Let's grab oh, the stovepipe. I can't believe it. We actually got Abraham Lincoln through a mission without him getting shot in his ridiculous hat. I feel pretty good about it that. Clear? It also rhymes possibly with cat. Getting out of here. Stat. We need to get out of here. Okay, that's it. I'm done. And Bootylicious Lindsay Lohan in her fantastic yellow Hello. uniform is also making her escape. And that, folks, was a pretty straightforward, flawless mission. I am really pleased with the way Operation Cobra went. That was solid. We did take 12 turns, but we killed 14 enemies and extracted the VIP. No one injured, no one hurt, no one even shot at. Most under fire is blank. We never even got shot at. That's solid x coming right there. All right, that's, I feel, feel really good about that. Jake Busey moved the furthest. Oh yeah, all right, I'm feeling good, baby. I'm, you know what? I'm feeling immediately better about being Perfidious Pete. It's just like when Randall Rains would get behind the, behind the wheel of that mom's Escalade, only in a less scummy way. Cause I mean, I didn't hurt anyone and I didn't put little Timmy in the hospital. So I've got that going for me. I mean, I hurt some aliens, but they were, they were fictitious aliens anyway. I didn't even hurt any sentient species. Also, they're evil, so... 
What if Randall, you're saying, but what if Randall Reigns, Pete? What if Timmy is evil? I mean, what if Timmy grows up to be the next Charles Manson and Randall Reigns put him in a hospital? Does that suddenly make Randall Reigns good? And now we're getting to a whole weird area where we're trying to rationalize all of our decisions. I think we may be reading too much into Gone in 60 Seconds, guys. Let's, you know what? We probably need a hobby. Kill totals are getting good. Holy shit, Yuri. Yes, the baby maker have 20 kills. That's 20 confirms. 20 little alien heads stitched on, uh, stitched on uniform. He's not anywhere close to as many babies as the baby maker have, but uh, he's still a respectable total, Pete. We also recovered Aaron Wilson. I don't know what recovering VIPs actually does for us other than being a mission objective. I mean, why does she have a name? Is she gonna like stay around and work for us or something? Oh, she's an engineer. Okay, never mind. The resistance commander. Um, okay. Yeah, you're welcome, Optimus Prime. I long for the day, by the way, when that mysterious door behind you open and those guys storm in and you're forced to take your own life. I really, I'm really, really looking forward to it, Optimus. All right, well, you're gonna go down here and help fucking Noah. Ah, I see that Grady Bryant is still busy. How you doing there, Grady? Buddy, it's it's been a while since we've had a chance to talk, working on the resistance comms. I know you're going to be grumbling and unhappy because I was really, really thorough with your work order, Grady. I mean, exceedingly thorough. I'm, uh, I'm onto your scheme. I mean, you're making me be more diligent in my paperwork. I guess you're turning me into a better manager, Grady, even though I still despise you. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. If you enjoyed the episode, you might consider dropping a like down. Oh, here comes Bradford Pat every fucking time. At one time, I was employed as a biochemist in the pharmaceutical industry. And Made one time, I went to a carnival and got some cotton candy, and then I rode the teacups and threw up. How is this relevant to me, Tygen? Are we just telling stories about our lives? One time, I made a stupid analogy to introduce an episode of XCOM 2 about Randall Rains and Gone in 50 Seconds. Did you ever do that, Tygen? I'd say we're lucky to have you with us. I appreciate the sentiment. I appreciated the cotton candy teacups thing. Anyway, if you guys are done, yes? All right. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Your support does really mean a lot. And if you'd like to see more XCOM 2 action, although I guarantee most missions are not going to be as neatly executed as that one, might consider subscribing as well. Post new episodes of XCOM every single day. Right now, however, thanks very much for watching. I'm going to go have myself a little celebratory gin with old Bradford because I saw his hand shaking a little bit. I think he's got the delirium tremens coming on. Needs a little dose of the good stuff. I'm going to hook him up with some Tank Array. I'll see you again soon.